Hey guys, thanks for tuning into this episode of Quick Tips. Today we are going to be talking about how often to clean your rifle or pistol. Evan, what do you think about how often you should clean your pistol? Well, based on the pistol that I like to use, which is the Glock series, you don't have to clean it very often at all. It runs for a long, long time. Um, if you see it start hiccuping and getting some failures to fire and some stove pipes and things like that, then obviously break it down, clean it, make sure it doesn't do that. And if it's not, rock on and keep shooting. Um, but I clean my rifle, my carbine, I should say, probably four times more frequently than the pistol. I like to actually pull the bolt and wipe down the bolt after every range trip and then probably like every three or four range trips I'll pull a bore swab through it and clean the barrel um, but I'm not cleaning the barrel all the time um, the star chamber on the air 15 also that can get dirty that can cause issues um, that's another one of those kind of you know periodic maintenance items but the bolt carrier is really the heart of the gun so that's what you really have to keep clean in order to make the air 15 run in my opinion right um, what, what about other guns that maybe are not your standard kind of tactical firearms, but like bolt actions, shotguns, things like that? What is your opinion on stuff like that, lever guns? Well, it all, it all depends on, on caliber too. You know, a lot some calibers run dirtier than others. Um, so like on a bolt action 22, you know, a squirrel hunting gun, um, you know, I clean that pretty frequently. Uh, because that is a very dirty operating system right um, but as far as like my deer rifle um, for, for instance you know I'll I'll shoot that you know probably I'll probably put 100 rounds or so through it before I, I, I actually clean deep clean that gun um, you know and that in a deer rifle I don't put 100 rounds through it you know in, in a year obviously it's you know that's probably five or six years before I'll actually really deep clean it um, you know but uh, there, there's different definitions between deep cleaning and what and whatnot, but um, you know what what I do after after you know sighting in my deer rifle, confirming zero before hunting season. You know I'll just I'll just run a, a dry bore snake through it. You know just to get any anything that's that's loose out of there, so I don't have any real build up or it would start to build some rust. Yeah, and um, if you can actually see down your barrel after you're done shooting it, you'll you'll typically see some little specks right. of carbon and stuff like that, little car, copper specks down the bore. And you know one thing to note, uh, you know if you're um, like a, if you consider yourself somewhat of a marksman or a precision rifle shooter, you know, every time you pull your bore, uh, you could induce a slight shift um, with your accuracy. And so some, some guys that are in the precision rifle community, they like to kind of keep their barrel dirty uh, because it's more consistent uh, for a certain number of rounds before they do a full breakdown and clean. And then they'll actually go back to the range and shoot a little bit to dirty up their bore again before they go out and shoot competition or something like that. So it really just depends on what your shooting discipline is. But for functional, you know, range use, recreational use, you know, you don't have to be cleaning it all the time. Um, you know, for an Air 15, I, I, I'll, I'll give it a full strip down probably every 500 rounds, something like that. Um, and then for a Glock, a couple thousand probably, just because they're so reliable. Right. Um, but definitely uh, do learn how to field strip your gun and obviously make sure that you unload it before you do any weapon handling with it at all, um, just to be safe. Also, what's your favorite lube? Just out of curiosity. Um, probably hops. Hoppies number yeah. nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 my go-to. You know, it's my my grandpa used, and it was in his his gun cabinet growing up, and that's it's just a, what it's I've always bought. It's an American classic. Yeah. Um, I like uh, WD-40. Actually, I did a little bit of my own research, uh, which I urge you guys obviously to do as well. And there was a guy that blind tested like 30 or 40 different uh, firearms lubricants, and WD-40 was the best rust preventative lubricant not necessarily the best lubricant in terms of reliability and cycling and stuff like that but it was the best rust preventative and we're in wisconsin at griffin armament where the humidity level is not terrible but it's not arizona and so uh, corrosion is an issue and uh, you know especially for long-term storage so i personally prefer wd-40 just because of its corrosion resistant properties anyways i hope you guys learned something from this quick tips video and definitely tune in for the next episode